Okay, the next question, Paul. How can I merge two subtools together when using Live Boolean? Yep, so this one is pretty simple, uh, really easy. I prefer a particular workflow for myself when I'm gonna do this. So I pulled up here my Soundwave. Um, he's got various subtools to be exact. He's got 104 subtools in here. And I'm gonna go to the part where it's just his Canon piece. And I prefer to work with the folders because this will make it even easier for this question and an easy way to do this. So instead of coming down here and coming into the Boolean and merging the mesh this way, because this will look at all visible subtools and do them all and make a new tool. I prefer to have what I want to merge in one for the live Boolean part uh, in a folder. And so all I got to do is in this case, you can see I have the Canon piece here and that's this part right here. And then in this little gear, I'm going to click on that gear and then there's going to be options through here for us. And you're going to have the two options. You're going to have Boolean folder and Boolean with DS div. Okay, so the difference between these two, and this is extremely important. In fact, I'll probably make them from both so we can see them. So let's do the first one, Boolean from folder. So you can see reason why I also like this is everything in the folder, including the folder has been turned off. And then the new piece actually stays within the same tool and it's just automatically added as a sub tool. So this is why I also prefer this method is everything stays within the one tool for me. And this is kind of what I prefer. Now, if we go the other way, we're gonna come back up here and then we're gonna say, all right, Boolean with DS div this time. We'll let that run through the process. And you can see that one took a little bit more time, but there's a reason for that. So I'm gonna turn off solo mode and you can see how clean the cannon is, right? It looks exactly the way that I've been modeling and how I want it to look. So this is the second one that I did, which is Boolean with DS div. Again, that was the option right here. And if we look at the first one here, you can see it's very faceted. In fact, here we'll turn the coloring off so you can really see that. So you see how faceted that is and how smooth that one is. This is a big difference. You need to understand both of these. Okay, so in this scenario, the first one, it looks nice and clean and smooth. All my pieces up here are low, low, low polygon. So I'm using Z Modeler to make these. So they're extremely low polygon as I cycle through these. And I'm even using a ray mesh in these, right? So this is being also used with dynamic subdivisions. So I want to apply the dynamic subdivisions before I actually merge everything. And so when I tell it to do this option, Boolean with DS div, I'm gonna get this result. And you can see the topology is a lot more dense because we're applying the dynamic subdivisions first and then we're merging everything for you where this option, there is no applying of the dynamic subdivs. It's just giving me all the low version of the polygons and then just merging everything together. Okay, so it's important to understand both options here but this is going to be the easiest way to merge multiple subtools with live booleans inside of ZBrush.